Hey there everybody, how's it going? It's Rising Phoenix. Watch Mojo released a top 10 killer video for Dead by Daylight. Let's see if we agree with the list or if we don't. I can guarantee you there's a lot of killers on the list I don't agree with. Some I'm like, some I'm like okay with and like I understand. There's a lot that I don't agree with though. And I'll, you guys will understand why as you watch the video as well. We watch this video live on Twitch and we react to it live on Twitch. If you want to see more content like this while live, feel free to follow me on Twitch. The link should be down there at some point. It's going to be inside of the description, but it'll also pop up on the screen here. And also, if you feel like supporting the channel, please feel free to press the sub button. Enjoy the video, guys. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a curious boy, like, I don't typically Welcome agree with a lot of their Watch stuff, Mojo. I want to see if I agree with it And today here. we're taking a look at the top 10 Dead by Daylight killers. Ah! Who's number 10, first of all? I'm going to say correct, but if you start ranting about ridiculous double standards, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> dude, no, I know what you mean, dude. Re U.S. has some weird standards for games, they absolutely do. They absolutely do. For this list, we're looking at the deadliest, dastardly, and devious killers from the online multiplayer phenomenon, Dead by Daylight. And hey, I am obsessed what, with what Dead by Daylight, if you can't tell already. So everything. follow me on Twitter, at Ghostwriter Tyler, and tell me what your favorite killer is. Or if I was just flat out wrong. Number what, 10, okay. The Hillbilly. Before we get on into this, what counts as, like, what's going into this? Like, is it, like... Is it like how cool they are or how fun they are at the play is? Or is it like how effective they are at killing? Like which one is it? I'm a curious boy. I'm a curious boy! Specify! Please watch Mojo! Please! You have Hillbilly in the 10th spot. I mean, if that's you really want to fair. scare the pants off of the survivors, you might take a liking to Max Thompson Jr., aka the Hillbilly. This horribly disfigured dude comes equipped with a cattle hammer to smack survivors upside the head with, but the okay. real joy I can respect comes from the secondary weapon, the chainsaw. I can respect number 10. What? Why? Hold the power no. button to rev it like hey, a madman and you'll break into a sprint. Instantly putting any survivor okay, you in your path get that into time. a dying state. However, you can't spam this whenever you please. You will no, don't have do to it now. Don't rev now. Don't rev now. In You're addition gonna... addition to grasping the difficult, you can't. You can't rev. You can't rev and hit a survivor when they're mid animation. You gotta wait until the <laughs> the the iframes are done. You you start revving too early, my friend. Steering. Revving too early. We know that Leatherface has similar abilities and mechanics. Yeah, but it's we'll Watch take Mojo. The so I see over that. Over Leatherface's painstakingly long tantrum. Okay, I like to Seriously, disagree man, with that too. I I feel like I want to disagree with that. Like, Bubba's got some Number good nine, shit. You can use Huntress. tantrum to your advantage, too. Tantrum outside of a locker, and Spyro has to wait for the perfect time to get out. What about a killer with a little more range and a little more- Wait, wait, you have Huntress at number nine? Huntress is number nine? I disagree with this list. I already disagreed with this list, man. Music I very behind much disagreed with this list already. Few of Dead by Daylight's killers Huntress require is not refilling place ammunition, killer. <laughs> but of the ones that do, we prefer the Huntress. Scary people not Our Hillbilly are like, and deranged yeah! Anna There are way more scary killers the than And she can throw them hillbilly. at survivors from a moderate distance. Just try not to waste every I... hatchet on one survivor, or else you'll have to stop nine. and find a locker Apparently and restock. Viking. As her name implies, the Huntress is well versed by, when chasing your match, survivors, dude. able to equip perks that grant her buffs for simply chasing and reveal the locations of other players. I... She's very much a character you should be afraid of. A good Huntress you should be scared of. Yes, I agree with that sentiment. Number eight. Huntress not ninth place. The pig. Pick an eight. Okay, I can, I can, I can agree with this list right now. I can agree with this placement here. Pick as number eight. I can agree Whereas with that. Whereas most killers can pressure survivors into either repairing faster or taking turns playing bait, the okay. pig forces an extra obstacle into the game that'll make any survivor sweat. When a survivor is in a dying state, the pig can place a reverse bear trap onto their that head. That is correct. Repaired generators will activate this Welcome. trap. Welcome. from there, the survivor has Aww. a limited amount of time to find a key in one of the many Book jigsaw boxes. Should they Please try to escape the trial with a trap still attached, being. attached, the trap will go off. Basically, the Bruh. pig is constantly forcing survivors to readjust their priorities, and this mechanic alone will make you feel like the most devious player. That I... I... I, I, I don't like this list. <laughs> <laughs> I 
The guy needed to practice a script before Serene. Yeah, I agree with that, Nuke. I do agree. He, he clearly practiced before. And Tamper Time, we're like that chat. Yes! There are so many things you can do with the with the pig besides what he's describing. Like, you, if you take yourself to a bigger map and use Tamper Timer and Jig the box of crates, you can kill survivors very easily with the reverse bear trap. It's not just for that. Like, you can use it for killing easily instead of just slowing down the game. That is until you run Hello, out of Hello, John Dex. How do you traps. do, sir? How do you then do? It's just time for sacrificing. Time for sacrifices even when they have the traps on, man. You want to sacrifice when they have the traps on, too? Right I typically disagree with Watch Moji stuff, so fully expect me to disagree with 90% of this list. Fully Number expect seven, that. Number seven, the executioner. Okay, no, execution needs to be higher. Pyramid head. He, this man needs to be higher up on the list. This man's got so much going for him. Honestly, it's just cool that Pyramid Head has joined a game featuring several horror this movie icons. This man needs icons. to be higher on the it's list, It's even dude. better that his play style is easy to understand, yet a tad tricky to perfect. I agree with that great sentiment. Knife, Pyramid Head can unleash a lethal trail of metal, wire, and bone. I do agree that sentiment. Inflicting a torment effect on those hit. While under I'm this doing effect, you. survivors can I'm be sent right to the Cage of Atonement, yeah, I'm doing which right can too. ignore any hook-related perks that <laughs> you know survivors what? may have equipped. Okay, it pretty really much quick, acts actually. Like an automatic hook I, I think it's not what's going to be spirit too. Escaping your grasp. Oh my god, Simply you're missing so easy. Ugh. I understand why he hasn't played seven now. This guy's not good as Pyramid Head. Like, he's missing so many easy shots that he should shoot. If he shot a second earlier at that pallet, he would have hit. Not at the pal not at the killer shake palette, at the the TL wall loop palette. The the two the two the two L loops in the palette in between. Like he, if he had shot a second early, he would hit that one. So yeah, like I, I agree. Pyramid should be higher up on the list. It's he's hard to learn, but once you learn him, he's a lot of fun to play as. And he's a very good killer. Very good killer. We put Pyramid Head is an aggressive defender when it comes to keeping survivors in the sacrificing process. Lord knows my struggles with the guy. At least he admits he struggles with the guy. Number At least six, he admits that. The nurse. Hang on. I wanna I wanna redirect really quick here. I wanna redirect to literally every single. Every single. Every single tier list in DVD ever. Okay? We're gonna redirect to every single tier list in DVD ever, okay? Nurse is number six. Every single tier list has nurse as in the top category. Because nurse, once you learn the mechanics and put in the practice it, put in the practice, nurse is a top tier killer. Like a good nurse that understands the maps, where she can teleport to, how you use her power, and how it exactly works, will destroy you no matter what. You're lucky to survive against a good nurse. What is this list? What is this madness? This hurts my soul. What is this? Why did I turn this on? Why did I do this? There's a Scott here, yes! The nurse can be an incredibly fun killer to play as, and it's all because of her unique blink ability. Not only are nurse players able to cover a good amount of ground with this ability, but you it missed. also opens an opportunity to ambush survivors and you land a hit before they can hit. flee. However, this impressive mobility does come a at a price. A second blink would have gotten Shortly a second the blink, hit. The nurse hit will be hit there. with a brief moment of fatigue, leaving her unable to attack and drastically slowing her speed. With this kind of hindrance and having to guesstimate right. where you'll appear, the nurse requires an extensive amount of time to master. Okay, at least he admits that. hang of it, she is so, so satisfying to play as. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about the fact that he's only running two yellow perks. I think, here's my theory, okay, here's my theory. I think for this video, he just tried one match and every single killer and poured some blood points on them to get some perks unlocked. I think that's what happened. I think he just did one match and every single killer and was like, oh, let's do a little video on this guy. Okay, that's gameplay for this guy. Okay, it's gameplay for this guy. And just from that one match experience was like, hey, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't really like this one. I don't really like this one. I think I think that's what happened with this. Number you know what? Five, that's true. I, I am assuming he played this himself. Nemesis in fifth place. Okay, I can agree with that one. Nemesis is not a top tier killer. He's like, like a B tier killer. Cold, unfeeling killing machine, or maybe you just want everything to feel more this like Resident so Evil. Then Nemesis is so the scripted. perfect candidate for you. 
The big brute comes Crap. with a tentacle whip that can smack survivors to apply Why the did you tentacle whip? You should have hit there. Decreasing their movement speed. On top of that, every smack increases its Brother. power, eventually letting you Why? break pallets you and hit. doors with it. Of course, the survivors don't have only Nemesis to worry about, as the monstrosity can have zombies spawn on the map to either attack survivors you and alert their location, or be off to increase the tentacle whip's power. You literally could have downed to the say, build there. Nemesis is a pain train with no brakes, and my god, I have been playing as him almost exclusively since the day he dropped. You better watch out for me. Wait, hold up, hold up. Can we... Okay, wait, okay, okay, really quick here. He says you better watch out for me. Okay, let's backtrack here really quick for a second. This is a three-man escape happening right now. As he's going like, you better watch out for me. <laughs> I'm a god to your nemesis. Sir, you should have downed the bill instead of trying for the tentacle strike. He dropped. That would have been the play watch there. Out for me. <laughs> One of them is Steve hanging at the exit gate too. You better watch out for me. That's Number survivor four, Steve at the exit the gate. Oni. Yeah, this is exactly what happened. He, he liked like, one match of each guy, honestly. If brutality is your thing, then you might be more of an Oni player. This ancient samurai warrior I'm comes a with a Oni. lot of pent-up rage, and it shows in his abilities. When survivors Ish. are struck with his Yamaoka blade, they drop blood orbs that the Oni can absorb in order to fill up Oni his power Oni is fucking gauge. scary. I do Once feel like filled, Oni should be higher the up. The Oni will be able to access a blood fury mode that grants him two additional abilities. Demon Dash lets him cover a yes. ton of distance, yes, it does. while Demon Strikes will put what? survivors what? into a dying state with a single wait. hit. Overall, wait. No, wait. Hold up. Wait. Cover Were you inside your power when that went down? While demon strikes will put survivors into a dying state Dude, with a single. He's in his power. He didn't instantly down the survivor. Oni's thing is if you don't do the demon strike, if you just do a reg you can do a regular M1 inside of Oni's power. You need to do a demon strike. Like you need to hold it down, and then Oni will slam down. That's that's Oni's thing. Instead of doing that, he just went for the regular boop M1 attack instead of just instantly downing this guy. Hit overall, the Oni has and this talks fun about Oni and satisfying balance between being patient and rushing down survivors. Dude, is he gonna do it again? Is he gonna M1? He M1 again. Oh my god! Number three, you M1 in Oni's brother. The shape. Yeah, okay, Michael Myers is the shape. I, I think Miles should be lower on the tier list. He's fun to play as. He does scare survivors, but. In terms of power Speaking and rating, of patience, he's a lot lower on the list, my personal evil. opinion. Michael Myers is all about waiting. Before pouncing on prey, Michael can use his stalking abilities <laughs> this, I don't think this to buff is a joke, his powers, dude. I think this particularly is, his lunge attacks, vaulting the movement. Opinion on However, DVD killers. those who play as the shape will he's have got to one prioritize which survivors to sacrifice, as this killer's personal perks all revolve around the obsession. These perks can okay, decrease true. your cooldowns, increase your movement speed, or even make penalties more severe that's in true. skill checks. Yeah, he's just as terrifying as he is in the Halloween film. If Ghosty is he number is two, not someone you want to mess around with. Not someone you want to mess around with. Four man escape right there. I should mention that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to point that out. Number two, the doctor. I do love that all this. Number two is the doctor. <laughs> Many of the killers we've listed okay. so far are twisted in their own ways, whether it be focusing uh, on the obsession solely or imposing more obstacles on the survivors. Uh, when it comes to the doctor, on the other hand, only truly sadistic players will play uh, as him. Old Herman Carter can electrocute uh, survivors and inflict the madness effect, which causes survivors to reveal their location through screaming and experience oh hallucinations of the doctor. The this only just... way survivors will be able to cure themselves Sad. is by completing the snap out of its skill check. But this can be excruciatingly difficult when inflicted with tier three madness, the doctor. Fun for the whole family. Oh man. <laughs> this just hurts my soul. Before we reveal Dead by Daylight's most horrifying Ghostface is an and honorable killer, mention. Here are a few honorable mentions. Ghostface is an honorable mention. Best for those who can pull sneaky tactics. He's not on the list. My guy. My guy. Ghostface deserves to be on the list. Ghostface is fun, okay? Ghostface is hella fun. Hey, I'd argue he's just as spooky as Myers in terms of spooking survivors. So I, I feel like Ghostface should 
and so being honorable mention should be on top of the list. The Nightmare, aka Freddy Krueger. A challenge to learn given how he drastically different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna play it. Challenge to learn, given how it's, drastically different his mechanics are. It's easy. It's very easy to understand. You place traps down on the ground. The trapper. And survivors fall Best asleep on you, and you teleport to generators. Master. Freddy Krueger is an easy character to understand, man. The Demogorgon. We gush every time. I agree that with theme that. Song plays we do during. gush every time. Ninety percent of people gush from Demogorgon. That's why he's called Devil Dog. People love petting him. Bef Number one, it is the, the spirit. spirit. Pancake called it. It is the spirit. Oh my God, Pancake, Another you called it. The it's the spirit. Is Ultimate Ghost Simulator. Okay, not really, but this undead woman makes being spooky a ton of fun. You called it. You With fucking her called it, Pancake. Power, Rin Yamaoka can turn invisible and quickly of traverse course. to another part Number of the map. Number one is going to be the most Though she loses all sight of survivors in this state, killers in the game. she can still see scratch marks clearly, making it easier to ambush players before they realize you're there. I agree. Phase spirit is a lot of fun. The spirit leave behind a husk that can emit We're its own help. terror radius as well as suppress the spirit's audio cues. We're gonna go when it comes my to list. maintaining horror After in a this. multiplayer game. Okay. It's always a scary time when the spirit is hunting you down. We're just gonna we're gonna touch up on my list here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching. Oh, I appreciate it. It's just definitely hurt on the inside a little bit. <laughs>